I realized that we need to hunt Leighton more when on Wednesday's live stream somebody asked me a question about the Chila region and I couldn't think of where that was for a moment on this map so clearly we have not been spending enough time here and honestly there are so many cool species and you guys often ask me in the live streams what my favorite map is and to this day it remains at Leighton Lakes despite the fact that we don't hunt here as often as we used to and I think that it is kind of natural, it is a base game map, it's been something that we could hunt, something that we've been hunting for more than five years. And even still, I do enjoy coming out here and going for hunts, but as I mentioned, I think we just need to spend a little more time here if I'm kind of struggling to remember where regions are. And who knows, maybe we'll have some luck in that Chile region today. But of course, as we saw, we are carrying the muzzleloader today, as per usual this time of year, kind of running with a unique loadout of actually, for this hunt, only two weapons, the muzzleloader and the 22H. That covers everything on Leighton Lakes in terms of uh, animal classes, and I think it might be fun to kind of go that route. Now, something else that I've been trying to do, do we even get the right duck? I guess the recoil made that feel like we shot the wrong one, but I've been looking to get a gold rare female mallard. Pretty much every time that we've been out on Leighton, we're shooting any with a chance there, and I don't think that one was a rare, but flying away, giving us a chance to use the 22H, why not take that shot? By the way, I think that actually is a brown hybrid. It looks to be. Might as well get that one too, I mean, it has a chance with that 12 to 15 estimate. So our first duck definitely looks to be a common and also a silver. Black brown is the common plumage type for the mallards, and I don't know but I thought I saw that kind of darker coloration up around the head and neck for the second hen mallard. So maybe that could have been a brown hybrid. In fact, getting up here closer, that is a common as well. Also a silver once again, the odds of it actually having that, I think 15.5 or 15.6 mark with the 12 to 15 estimate to actually make gold are not great, but I don't know that I've ever seen very many hen mallards with a better estimate than that, so we just gotta take the shots and Hope for the best, but when they are commons, definitely not a big deal since that's not what we're specifically looking for. Now that is one of the reasons I wanted to come to Leighton today for a decent moose. Now the problem is, he is on the move to somewhere, and unfortunately we can't get a spot on him there. That might be the most blind shot we'll take in a while, but we know that that could not be a diamond level 4. I think we hit him. But he's definitely not hit well, so we may need a follow-up shot eventually. He's kind of hanging around. This is the biggest negative I could think of with the muzzleloader in this particular scenario. When a follow-up shot is presented, and we just don't have the gun loaded. I didn't realize he was nervous already, but I don't think he was over 150. I think that shot should be a lung. Not quite ideal, I will say, but that... wait. I guess the first shot never even hit him. I thought he was kind of limping almost. I mean, it worked out. Anyway, we ended up with a lung shot right at the bottom of the lungs. He was just over 200 meters. But uh, we knew he had no chance of being a diamond, so it wasn't that big a risk. Still a nice move, so I'm glad we got the gold out of him, but maybe we could try being a little more careful on our next shot. Unfortunately, it's kind of reminiscent of our grizzly bear hunt over on Yukon, seeing a level 5 black bear, but it is good to see a male. We just kind of went through a decent amount of Balmont, and there were no male bears to speak of. Now, this is a lower level multiplayer server, so it could be the case, and we've talked about this a fair amount, maybe as it is right now in the game, a lot of the female black bears spawn initially there in Balmont, and then as you shoot black bears, respawns kind of spread out, and you'll get a mix of male and female in all the different areas, but there was not a whole lot to speak of over there in at least kind of the center part of Balmont, so as we head down here into the Balmont Railroad area, maybe we'll see a little bit uh, more interesting stuff, but level 5 black bear male, not exactly anything special, but nice to see a male of any kind, 17.7 dark fur type. That is not a bad looking black tailed buck. Max would estimate up to 185 on the score. Now, we see a lot of species where below max level animals can make diamond. 
I don't think Black Tail are one of them. I can't recall, since they changed their scoring at least, any level 4 Black Tail making diamond. There was a time when that happened fairly regularly, but I don't think that occurs at all anymore. I would love to see it happen. That's one of those things. It's always when, when you don't know whether it is a level 4 or a level 5, when it has a chance of making diamond, it's always a little more fun to run up there and claim it and see what you've got for it. Be it a level 2 turkey with a max estimate, a level 2 whitetail, whatever it may be, but in this case, I'm not even sure if he has the split time. He is a 169.2, so he's reasonably close. Diamond is in the 177 range, I believe. 177.5. So maybe there is a chance with a particularly wide rack or something, but... For now, it looks like the case remains you need a level 5 for them. You know, it's not often that I ever actively try to win these, but you see the challenge in the top left there. First to four harvests. We have three just from hunting around. Now there's a cow moose there, we might as well hit that with a muscle loader, and maybe we can get a challenge win on the board. There is actually a stat that tracks that. I don't know what, like how many competition wins we have. It's in here somewhere. I'm curious if it actually works. Because this says 37, like I said, I rarely actually try to win them. The last time that we did was a Yukon hunt, which I don't know if it's the same Yukon hunt that I referenced earlier, but there was, I think, a distance requirement or something, and someone ended up shooting the uh, animal to win that comp just before we got and uh, claimed it. So if we can go and get this one, I'm curious to see if the counter still works. Some of those older stats don't always seem to count anymore. Looks like we'll be good to at least find out. Left long shot on our moose got the competition win. And if we go back to the play stats, it does work. 38 now, so good to know. I was kind of curious. I felt like we had more than that, but I guess that's one of those things where just kind of mentally it's remembering it wrong. Well, that is a little unfortunate. I was hoping to maybe see something better out of that elk when we had the 440 to 500 kg estimate. But as he is returning to his zone nervous, looks like a big four is the best we can do. Now, I do want to say, I think that is like the small five diamond rack, which also has a chance of trolling anyway. He's got the double brows. It actually looks good and a 345 to 417 estimate is quite solid. Going back to my point I mentioned with the black tail, there has been at least one level 4 diamond Roosevelt Elk since the changes to their scoring that I've seen posted in the community. So there's a chance, and again that just makes it more interesting to me at least, when there is at least a, a slight opportunity to maybe get a diamond out of a kill like this. But we will shortly find out because he did not go far after that muzzleloader hit. In fact with a bit of running back and forth there, he probably made it like 15 meters, but a good sized elk definitely better than the one we shot at the beginning. 369.9, so he's not far off, about 10 shy. I'm not exactly sure what the differences are between like this and the small 5 rack, but definitely missing a bit of something, and their scoring is so odd to begin with. Main beam length, length of tines, and circumference is all that goes into it. So it could just be a little bit of an accumulation of things across them that could make that difference, but another solid level 4 kill, not quite up there uh, for what we're looking for though. I feel like we just don't really ever see this anymore. That is a level 3 whitetail. I wasn't sure if he might have been. He was kind of hidden behind one of the does and it just just moved out of the way a moment ago. But whitetail in this particular area of Layton, it used to be one of my absolute favorites. We shot a number of diamonds on the old system, legacy racks, all that stuff years ago. Right up in this area, a little bit north of here, usually right there, at that crossing there was a whitetail drink zone that was just fantastic, but lately they don't seem to drink here ever, but apparently come here kind of later in the evening and they do actually feed in this area, so before anything wild happens, such as something like that, a doe just kind of blocking our shot, we'll drop a muzzle around into the neck region of that whitetail buck and we might actually have a diamond on our hands. I, I really wasn't thinking it was a diamond because a lot of times, you see one antler kind of behind another deer or something, and it can look like it could be a diamond rack, but often it is a level 2. That guy is a 3. Obviously, the smaller rack and a chance to troll us, but even with that, if he is a troll, he's the best thing we've seen so far today. 
And truth be told, I was pretty much ready to throw in the towel regardless of what this was. I like to, especially on multiplayer hunts, just spend time towards the end looking for something special if we haven't had it. But that just was not happening. I don't know. Usually this is not the angle that I end up seeing the, the small rack from, but it almost is giving me troll vibes. Hopefully I am mistaken there. But I was even going to say 240. It's 249.4 for that guy. I'll be honest, this video was supposed to end with the level 3 whitetail buck troll, but I also kind of forgot that we were at the end of the month when I was recording that video. And at the time, I thought it was going to come out last Sunday, but due to the montage, basically I had an extra video and I decided to just kind of go out and see if we could find anything, anything better really on Layton to end with, because ending with the troll is a little bit unfortunate. After, I think, about three and a half hours out here today, we finally have our first significant kill, and it is a piebald black-tailed doe. Nothing crazy special, but especially considering all told close to six hours on Layton, this is going to be a much better way to wrap up, so we'll take that and tax it and probably go back to the second lodge for that, but I really didn't think I'd be out here almost four more hours today, but I definitely like that better than a random troll whitetail. And really this is an opportunity to mention just the fact that I still think more variety in multi-mounts and just more multi-mounts in general would really do a lot for the trophy lodges, allowing you know female animals at a lot of these multi-mounts where you could have rare does to feature in them instead of only bucks. I think that could be pretty cool and of course at the moment the only blacktail multi-mount is the one that we actually have set up down here with the mountain lion or puma i think it's called collision but if we ever got like a huddle blacktail and if it ever did get to the point where we could have male and female animals in the same multi-mount i think that would be pretty cool and i guess th there are some like there's the tactical espionage we can have like a male elk and a female puma or mountain lion but anything like this where it is just a huddle of all males switching it up to where it could be I guess either or in any of those slots, it would just add so much more variety and allow some of those rare does to actually be shown off. But anyway, like I said, I think a better ending that way than with a troll whitetail. And that is now officially going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.